Welcome to Val White Marine, my name is James. Today I'm going to walk you around a brand new Interboat 22 Explorer that's just arrived with us from the factory in the Netherlands. She sat behind me over my shoulder there. Um, I'm going to get you on board, walk you around, I'll give you a little look uh, down the pontoon before we get on board um, and show you what this boat has to offer. So there's an overall look into the boat as we come along the pontoon. Uh, as the name suggests, Explorer, um, this boat really is designed for people that want to set out. Uh, and maybe have one or two nights away uh, and sort of have a, a boating camping experience. So the setup here to facilitate that over in this forward area, you've got this little galley area here, galley worktop, you've got a fridge, down below there there's a sink and underneath that uh, panel there there is a toilet, as a pump flush toilet to a holding tank. Now it's not separate, there is obviously no, you know, it is totally open, um, but it's, it, it, it's a great idea because the other thing that works well with this boat is to buy the infill boards that go to this section and the infill cushions which we can get from Interboat as a retrofit. That converts that whole area into bed so you can have a double berth, cockpit seating at the rear and then obviously the uh, galley section forward which I've just shown you. So we'll get on board, let's give you a quick walk around so that you can see the aft deck. That is a large storage locker there so you've got the um, that top flips up you've got a huge locker in there fenders but if you were going camping weekending it's a good provisioning place as well on all these boats all these interboats the engine is always mounted centrally i think the great advantage of that uh, as a whole thing is it gives you a nice um, the aesthetics work quite well to have your helm there but it also makes a nice table and once we get on board you're going to see that this flips up it gives you another little storage area. It's great for um, your devices, phones, tablets, and that sort of thing if you want to keep them out of the sun. So at the moment, I've got all the canopies folded so that you can uh, get a good look into the boat. Um, I have photographs of it with the spray hood up, um, and I'll drop that into the video so you can see that. So when you've got the spray hood up, you have shade from the sun, and if there was a little bit of bad weather, and then the rear section of the canopy has a tonneau cover, as it does with all interboats, so they come with all the canopies that you need to um, pack the boat away. There's one beside me here, it's the same format. You, the tonneau cover is the rear section, which goes onto the back of the spray hood, which is this front section, uh, and makes the boat waterproof when you're not using it. So coming around to this galley area, a bit of storage in there. This boat comes with a, a gas, um, a little camping gas cooker, which would sit up on there. That has the aerosol, so there's no gas in the boat, and it's sort of uh, plumbed into the boat, as it were. As I said, you've got this little basin here, which I think is really neat. So that's cold water only. So it has a fresh water tank to power that. And then underneath here, as you'll see, you've got the toilet. Typical Jabs go toilet to a holding tank. So when that's not in use, you can pop that down and it's quite discreet and out of the way um, equally there when needed. Over on the other side, um, very much your standard fridge. And some more storage over there. So there's a the view aft once you're in this area. They are quite a beamy boat and they do give you a lot of space. So even keeping this galley area separate, you've got tons of space and it's really, really social. There is storage under both sides, okay, of those side benches, quite deep storage. You've got tons of storage all the way going down there. This particular boat has been fitted with um, cockpit lighting. So you've got those little LED down lighters down there, cup holders, they're standard. And we fitted this one with a bimini. So that's in the sort of a folded away position at the moment. If it was a really hot sunny day, just undo the cover for that. There's no need to take the framework down. The framework just comes forward slightly um, and then she will have straps that go into the midship cleat to keep that taut. So just walk you through this uh, rear end in a little bit more detail. Down the side there, you've got those nice teak uh, surrounds on there. Those are designed as fender lockers. So if you're underway and you don't want your fenders out, it's quite a neat place to tuck your fenders in. But obviously you can use from whatever you want. When my family go out on a boat, sometimes a lot of people will tuck all their shoes in there because it saves you tripping over them. So that's quite useful. Um, more cup holders on the helm. I also find that's quite useful, that handlebar when you're moving around the boat. There is also an interboat champagne um, holder bucket that goes on there. That works well. Uh, throttle on the side. Beautiful teak rimmed steering wheel. And I'll just run you through the controls briefly. Um, this boat has been fitted with a bow thruster. So that gives you a little bit of peace of mind if you're maneuvering in close quarters. 
uh, fuel tank, or fuel gauge, I beg your pardon, uh, RPM and your volts. And then any other warnings that you may have do come up on that display down there. There are warning lights for overheating uh, or if you had a charge issue. So the, if you want to carry out any maintenance on these engines, very simple, um, one uh, clip that you undo just down there and then just lift the engine box up and it has a stay on there to keep that in position. This is a Vetus, it's a 27 horsepower inboard diesel uh, driving through a shaft. This boat also has a keel. So for anybody that knows a little bit about boating, it is perfectly suited to slow speed cruising um, and should be very, uh, keep, keep a, very much a straight line when you're underway at low speed, which just makes it a very relaxing experience. Maintenance, as I said, is easy. The dipstick's easy to get to on this boat. The water's easy to check and the weed filter I'm gonna show you at the moment, which is in the rear locker. So I've removed the uh, helm seat cushion just so that you can have a little bit of a look into the rear locker because there's quite a lot going on in there. And for people that have not seen one of these boats before, it's quite useful. It shows you how easy and well laid out everything is. This boat, because it has the bow thruster and the fridge, has uh, two battery arrangements. So you can see one battery over on that side, another battery over on that side, and then your two battery master switches. So if you're out for the day, use your fridge a lot while you're camping or whatever, you're never gonna be in that situation where you have a flat battery. On your engine side of things, there will always be enough charge in your engine battery, which is separate, and you can start the engine. Manual bilge pump, that is your weed filter, so that would strain out any debris from the raw water that sucked in from the river, cooling your engine. Uh, very easy to show, and when we hand the boat over to anybody, we always run through that. Your main seacock and the little wooden item down at the bottom there is an emergency rudder, should you ever need it. So that's a quick roundup of this brand new Interboat 22 Explorer. She's with us at Valwai on site, so you can come and see the boat whenever you like. Please do give us a call beforehand because we do get quite busy with appointments. This boat is RCD rated for 10 people. That is to say it has been tested. You can have 10 people on board, which as I said earlier in the video, makes it a great social boat, great for days out. You've got the toilet, the fridge, the sink. Uh, you could have a lot of fun. If you're on YouTube, the link to the boat will be in the description and our contact details through our website will all be available there. Also, if you're already on our website, give us a call. We'd love to see you. Thank you.